It's just me. <laughs>
mm. in his fights. And yeah, yeah, yeah. even when he's beaten down, he gives himself a second to breathe, and then he goes right back into the same energy. Like, I was talking to you about the Christian Bale fight scenes with Bane, how when he was getting tired, yeah. he was clearly tired, he was clearly human. And then he comes back, comes out of the pit, and he's, he's back, he's ready to fight. You know, I, I, I need humanity. to... Yeah, he's gotta be... He's gotta be all the way, all the time. I mean, it's just... I don't know. If DC and uh, Warner Brothers can't pull this movie off, it's... It's gonna be a sad, sad day. Cause they're just killing these iconic characters. No, seriously. They really are, with like these bad not not bad, but not so great. Not as good as the it's animated not, series. It's movies. yeah, it's not living up to what's already came before it. That's right. the thing. It's not. It's just I know they're trying to be different because there's copyrights with every image of Batman. And the suit looks the the uh, Patterson Matt Reeves suit looks a lot like uh, a Flash suit that we just got previously in Justice League. Mm -hmm. um, which Justice League is a whole another story, right? I mean, they did have that cameo in the Flash with Ezra Miller. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of Ezra Miller's Flash, I yeah. still thought it was a cool moment that they took you know the DCU with the the CW, right? <laughs> that was that was great. Yeah, that definitely worked for the TV show. No. Um, yeah, but um, but yeah, it's we we just we just crossing our fingers and hoping and that it's gonna be a great movie. The the and, and, and also I don't know how I feel about the chest plate, not the symbol. But if you notice that, like it looks like flat cast iron metal, and then it points down like that. Like, a, almost like, they're almost like bat nipples. It look, <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks, it looks like Elon Musk made the bat suit. It looks like a cyber truck. Like, don't get me wrong, <laughs> it looks like it could stop a bullet. And that's the point. I mean, yeah, it does look that. like that. But at the same time, it's like, bro, you don't have a chest. That's what I think. I like, when you have this thing that's clearly not your chest, I think you don't have a chest. That's why you have this huge... I think I think what defines a bat costume the most is the cape and the cowl. Like that's yeah. that's and the, the belt. Main... The belt. We haven't even seen the belt. Yeah, I, we don't even know what the belt looks like. I just realized. The belt. It... I think those that breaks it down to like those three iconic things when you think of like what I mean, Batman looks like. Yeah. Literally, it's three. One, two, three. I mean, it... yeah, cape, cowl, cape, belt. Yeah, those are like. And even the suit up as itself, a kid, that's gray, what he wanted. Right. Like I always love the the gray material, like B yeah. BBS and 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 um, I'm not gonna say Justice League because they had so many different bad suits that I didn't approve of in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact that it was cloth, like yeah. it was it was strong cloth, it, but it was cloth from shoulder to toe. It gave you like what you like you, <clears throat> you just like dreamt about as like a kid. Exactly. Like, wanted to be Batman. That's what. And when I first saw saw it online, it's not. It's not what we envision. It, it, and the, I mean, it, um, I, I get it from like a movie standpoint. And they can like, make Kevlar, uh, or Kevlar is bulletproof, but they can make yeah. material bulletproof. Like you saw them shoot Batman in the back of the head and, mm -hmm. and, the, and it bounced right off. Like I'm sure yeah. the suit was similar to that. Yeah, they could make like um, fictional materials like like vibranium. You know, kryptonite <laughs> doesn't exist. And, uh, yeah. like you just said, vibranium doesn't exist. I so. mean, they could definitely justify these things uh, with fictional science, I guess we'll call it. Fictional per science. Perfect example of fictional science, right? For, for the Batman Ninja movie, the animated movie, mm. when um, Michael Fox... Oh, no, uh, uh, Lucius. I'm sorry, Lucius. Lucius. Yeah. He made Batman in this movie a a force field that he could wear that any, like no matter how close or how far a bullet was from when it entered the gun, it would mm. ting, it, it would just stop. Like, yeah. And it was so good that it ended up bouncing and hitting other people, so he had to get rid of it. But mm -hmm. that the idea that they just whipped up something that was completely protected of they could have made some cloth or they could they could have, but it's it's hard because you you're working in the. I mean, comic book to real world, like, what what is believable, like, the level of believability in, like, a live action, you know? Um, well... Like, you don't want it to, like, get lost. Except for the technology in Black Panther was I think fairly that, believable, but it was still 
dope, though. Yeah, it's just, it's they <laughs> Marvel does such a good job. Well, Marvel's the best. Like, if Marvel didn't exist, DC would be killing it. No, I mean, it, it, I, well, actually, I don't even know. I, I honestly don't know if that's true, because... Yeah, They've had true. so many tries to get it right, and I feel like mm-hmm. maybe either one of two things: either they just don't know how to bring that Batman or this Batman to the screen without breaking some laws, mm. or they just they really don't know how to do it. Like they don't know how to do it properly. I think I don't know. They, I feel like Warner Brothers just wants money. By the oh, end of the day, I've heard that rumor where they make dope trailers mm-hmm. to make people come in, and they find out it's literally just a two and a half hour filler. Which was, I don't want to say the Justice League or Batman or something. There were dope moments in each movie, but they were not dope movies as right. a whole. Yeah. Um, yeah, go on. But, yeah, that's, I guess that's it. I don't know, I don't know what they, there else is. They better not screw this up. That's all I got to say, because I'm a huge Batman fan. I'm, I'm a huge Flash fan, mm-hmm. and, and I'm not that excited for the Flash movie. So if they mess these two up, it's seriously going to make me teeter over to Marvel like ten, <laughs> tenfold. Right. I mean, I'll go, I'll watch the animated movies of DC. They're always dope and they're always funny and they're always hardcore. They should hire those guys to do the movies. But they, they don't look like the part. They're just voices. They don't no, actually no, no. look. The, the voice actors, the guys who uh, write it. Um, gosh, I'm blanking on their names. Hmm. Oh, it's okay. The people who write, you want them to play Batman? No, no, no. To write the scripts. Oh, scripts. Oh, I thought you meant acting. No, no. I mean, here's the thing that I feel like you run into, though, is that you can draw anything. Mm Mm-hmm. Draw, you know, two-dimensional. When you bring it to animated, that's like... Again, it's easier than getting it on live action, but there's less money to be brought up in order to make these animated things happen or comic things happen Mm -hmm. here not only do we have to get what we think is a blimp in the screen we have to make people believe that's really a blimp and not just something we threw in the background you know like there's so many that's like the visual effects i mean don't get me wrong visual effects and um special effects all those people they can do anything they can make anything but there are some things that will literally take six months, years, two years of complete and total focus of tedious frame by frame. Mm. That's why it's like when they say, yeah, we could do it. But in their head, they're going to. That's like literally two years. Like, yeah, I could do it. But it's going to be a 20 second clip. Yeah. And it's going to take two years to make. Like, that's the balance they got to find a way to make, which is a. Uh, like, in a way, that's why I kind of have an issue with the CW shows, because their effects are really bad. So, so going back to the suit. Um, oh, yeah, the suit, right. We've seen all the suits through the years, um, and, like, which one, like, which one do you think is, like, the best? Ben Affleck's. Ben Affleck's? Yeah, the, the, when, when the, the display opened up and it showed that bat suit, and we all saw oh, that yeah. gray material for the first time, yeah. except, for, except for Adam West. Mm-hmm. Who always go down as a legend. But when we saw that, we said, fucking finally! I mean, <laughs> yeah. we really did. It wasn't just me. I know there were other people going, finally, the gray is in the screen. <laughs> right. Oh, man, that was such a great moment. That was great. Christian Bale was dope. I'm not even doubting him. Yeah. I'm saying Suits, Ben Affleck got the best one. That's So true. far. So far. Michael Keenan. Michael Keenan's was great, too. I loved, um... I, I was... The only thing I like about George Clooney's suit is that the way it hits the light and it changes color. It was defining. It was like, it went Except from the blue to, like, to black. Everyone yeah, makes fun of those. Yeah, yeah, still. That was, yeah. I thought, as a kid, I thought it was a dope suit. <laughs> yeah, it was, as a kid, you didn't it know was any refle- better. <laughs> it was reflective. You know what I mean? George Clooney wasn't that good as a Batman. But that movie was really good when, it, when I was a kid. <laughs> Absolutely. Looking back I on it, I'm like, movies. what the Batman hell? Forever and Batman and Robin and all those? Like, yeah, I, Batman Forever is still somewhat watchable. Like, Jim Carrey as the Riddler <laughs> will always stick with me. He, he nailed that role to yeah, me. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. yeah. Alright, well, I think that does it for our little discussion here. We're late to the party. It's already February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh my god, it is Valentine's Day. It's crazy. 
I didn't get you a gift. Yeah. You don't need to. That's fine. It's all right. Got enough gifts. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what am I saying now? Shit. That's all we have for you tonight, folks. That's it. Like, comment, subscribe to this video. Check out my last video, which was the hy uh, hybrid cowl. Um, I'll be stay tuned for a brand new video of the review of the bat suit that I got from Unmasked Studios. Uh, I'm going to be doing a review of that. Uh, Matthew is going to help me with some B-roll, so it's going to be looking super, super dope. Um, that's it. You guys have a great day. Better tomorrow. Remember, bat on. Bat on? Should I throw this card at the lens? I don't know. Try it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. Is it like that? Exactly is, like that. Is that is that the plan? That was the plan. Okay, I want more coffee now. Here's your card. Ah, thank you, sir.